Hi YouTube and welcome to the Grubby Gut channel. Today we're going to talk about pattern making uh, for doing leather work. And what we're going to do today is we're going to make a pancake style holster for, um, or the one that we're making is for a, a High Point CF380. This is a Keltec PF9. We've already cleared it. Always before you work on a firearm, make sure that it's empty. This holster here that we're going to be making is just like this one for the other gun but this one is a 15 degree forward cant high ride to make it easier to conceal now this particular one is leather smooth leather lined uh, the one that we're going to be making is not um, and as we do these things I'm going to try and show you the minimal amount of tools that you can use so many times I've watched a YouTube video and get all excited about making something and realize I don't have the tools that I need. So for making the leather pattern and even making the holster, um, it's going to be a minimal amount of tools and we'll show you substitutes on some of the things. Myself, I like using uh, dial calipers. I use them a lot. They're great. I love them. But there's ways around it and we'll show you as we get going through that. This particular one is a 15 degree forward cant. So uh, we'll get started with just some quick reference lines. So, Okay, what we're going to do to start with, now I'm just going to use an ink pen right now, and it's going to be kind of hard for you to see, but this is just a reference line. I'll switch over to a Sharpie to make it a little bit more visible for you. But what I'm doing is I'm just coming up off the bottom of this page about an inch. This is an inch wide. Um, I'm going to find the middle of my paper, and roughly, and what I'm looking for is a 15 degree angle, because that's what this customer wants. A framing square like this is really nice to use um, for finding that if you have one you can just you can just take uh, your firearm and lay it up there and say that looks about right but in this case he wants a 15 degree so I'm just going to put a, a reference line at 15 degrees with the bottom of it being in the middle of my paper now this is the firearm here that we're going to be making a, making a holster for again make sure that it's clear now, what I've done is I've came up about an inch, that's just, just to get me away from the edge of my paper. And I'm going to take this now, and I'm going to lay it with my sight plane along the reference line that I made at 15 degrees. And I'm going to stop just a little bit above this one inch reference line that I made. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Sharpie, and you really want something that's kind of fat barreled like this, because you need the thickness, because we're trying to add a little extra for the leather. Always hold it straight up and down. Don't try and tilt it and get it to the exact size of the gun. I'm actually trying to make it larger than the gun. That's why you want something a little bit bigger. So always hold your your Sharpie or your pin, whatever you're using, straight up and down. So what I'm going to do is hold that straight up and down, and I'm just going to trace an outline real quick around it. And this is just going to uh, give me a starting point. This is not going to be a cut line. It's just a starting point is all that it is. And we're going to show you how to figure everything else into it on how to do it. All right. Now, using my calipers, you can use a tape measure on it or a ruler, um, you're going to want to get the thickness of, across your barrel slide. And in this case, I'm an inch and a quarter. So half of an inch and a quarter is five-eighths. So I'm going to go and, and I'm going to set this at five-eighths. But now, if you don't have a pair of these, something that you can do and I've already lost it. You can cut a piece of paper at five-eighths of an inch wide, and I just had one laying here. Okay, you can, here. You can cut a piece of paper at five-eighths wide, and I don't know if that is or not, because I'm just trying to illustrate it. But what you're going to do now is you've got to go around the part where you want this and move five-eighths of an inch out. So. What you can do is take your ink pen and just go up against that to give you a 5 eighths of an inch bigger outline. I realize that you can't see this real well in the video with these little ink lines that I'm doing, but I'm going to darken it in with a marker here. And you don't have to do the whole gun, you only have to do the part that you're trying to, to make a holster for. Okay, now if you can see this here, you can see the bumps where my sights are. I actually went the 5 eighths up 
from the sights, not from here, because I want sight clearance when I draw it. And since I did that, I guess I better make sure that I'm about 5 eighths. I'm a little bit more than 5 eighths, but this will work. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to freehand that in to, comp to, to add the material that you need. Now these lines here are going to be important lines because these are your sew lines. These are where you're going to actually sew your leather. Um, now right now I'm going to want this holster, you got to look, your trigger's in here. You're going to want to cover your trigger. So I'm just going to put a line in there like that. And that's where I'm going to want the top of it to be. Now this is going to set deeper into the holster. So this will come down. Um, so I want to take my same 5 8 now and come down that same 5 8 off this line. Now that will be the top of the holster right there, and not this line, but this one, because if you can visualize, this is the sole line out here, and the gun is going to set deeper into it. So that's going to move, this line will now be here. This is how high it will actually set on the, on the gun. All right, now right now, we've got to figure out where our belt loops are going to go. And we know that the bottom of the holster is going to be right here. because that's how far that barrel is going to set in. And what we want to do, I'm going to go back to my calipers, but you can use a tape measure. I'm going to go one inch from my sole line, because this, these two lines are my sole lines. And I'm going to come out one inch, and put me a mark on each side, I'm going to come out one inch. And that's going to be the inside of my belt loops. That's going to be this line and this line. So, I have a little framing square. I love my little framing square for this. But you can also take a piece of paper and just fold it so that you've got a nice thick edge to draw against, and you can use that for making your 90 degree angles as well. Just line it up on the bottom of the paper. Now, the bottom of my holster, this particular one, I actually raised up a little bit in here. This one here, I'm not going to not going to do that. This one here I'm going to leave it straight and make this one ride just a little bit higher. So you're going to come up a half and three quarters of an inch. Yeah, three quarters of an inch from the bottom of your leather. It's just going to be right here and right here. And that's going to be this distance right in here. And now I'm going to go 7 16 of an inch wide on my loops. And that's this one. Now these two lines here are the inside lines so you want to make your circle on the outside of them. You don't want to get it too narrow because you'll run into problems when you start sewing. So I want these belt loops to be an inch and a half tall. If you can see, these were the first lines that I drew at one inch out, so I went wider with it on these belt loops. Now these lines will get cut when we get done, but these lines will be one of the last things cut. It's going to be the belt loops. Okay, well, right now you want to be three quarters of an inch bigger 
than the outside. If you get too skinny, if you've got good leather, it'll still wear well, but you want to have enough meat in there because when we sew this, we're going to sew around the loop, but we're also going to sew around the leather. If you get too close on these lines, you start running into problems with your threads wanting to hit. So we're going to go three quarters of an inch outside of these. This will give us the length of our holster. Now, I normally use this, but you can be creative. You can, you can use a quarter. A quarter will work just fine. I want to round my corners. I don't want something that's going to be digging into me. So you can use a quarter and round these out. Now right here, I don't need to come all the way up with this. I just want to get to a point where I'm going to clear and then I have to get from that point to that point. Again, then you can come back in with your quarter. Now, normally I wouldn't do this with a Sharpie. Um, it's kind of a fat line to be laying stuff out with. I'm really only doing this for you to be able to see. But normally I'd have used my ink pen for the whole process. Now that really only took a few minutes and we've already made a holster pattern for a 15 degree forward cant pancake holster for a high point CF380 and that's going to be this part right here is the part that we're going to be cutting out. Now what we're going to do in, in the next video will show you how to cut your leather and how to assemble your pieces. And bear in mind this one is an unlined whereas this one is a lined holster. You can see this stitch line around the top on both sides on top and bottom. That's because this is actually two pieces of thinner leather laminated together and this is to keep them together. The holster that we're making is not like this but if you wanted one like that then when we get to the leather making or the holster making part of it, I'll show you where the difference would be if you wish to make a lined one. Just this one's unlined. So that's it for the, the video on how to make your pattern. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and cut here and we'll go to another video showing you how to make your holster. Thank you for joining us on YouTube. Make sure you like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good day.